Munster Rugby is one of the four professional provincial rugby teams from the island of Ireland. They compete in the Pro 12 and the European Rugby Champions Cup. The team represents the IRFU Munster branch, which is one of four primary branches of the IRFU, and is responsible for rugby union throughout the geographical Irish province of Munster. Their main home ground is Tommen Park, Limerick, though some smaller profile games are played at Musgrave Park, Cork. Munster currently play in a red and blue home strip, while the away strip is black and red. The Munster rugby logo consists of three crowns and a stag. The team motto is to the brave and faithful, nothing is impossible. It is derived from the motto of the McCarthy clan a Euro 40A Fidelie Nile Difficile. In 2008, Director of Coaching Declan Kidney left to take up the head coach job with Ireland, and Munster ensured continuity by promoting Australian Tony Mugan to the position from within the coaching setup. It was announced on February 22, 2012 that Mugan would be leaving Munster at the end of the 2011 Euro 12 season, to take up a role of coaching coordinator on Australia's management team. Rob Penny, coach of Canterbury in New Zealand U20, was chosen to succeed Mugan, being unveiled as the next Munster coach on May 2, 2012. On February 6, 2014, it was announced that Penny and Bax coach Simon Mannix would be leaving Munster at the end of the 2013 Euro 14 season. Former captain and then Ford's coach Anthony Foley was confirmed as the next Munster coach on February 19, 2014. History equals Foundation and Early Years equals Munster was officially founded in 1879, at the same time as Leinster and Ulster, with Connacht being founded ten years later in 1889. The first inter-provincial matches between Leinster, Ulster and Munster, however, were held in 1875. The founding of the Munster branch of the IRFU was intended to organize and oversee the game within the province, and prevent any club bias by providing mutual selectors for the representative side. In amateur days, the four Irish provinces played against each other in the Irish Inter-Provincial Championship and also played touring international sides. Leinster as now, were the most accomplished side. Munster traditionally drew its strength from the clubs of Limerick, with the game popular in the city and widely played at all levels. Teams such as Shannon, Garrowan and Young Munster built up fierce rivalries with one another, helping push standards in the province higher as a result. Equals games against touring sides equals, Munster has a great tradition of competitiveness and impassioned displays against touring sides. The first touring side to play Munster were the famous original All Blacks led by Dave Gallagher, who lined out against Munster in the Markets Field, Limerick in November 1905. Munster were defeated that day 33 Euro 0. Throughout the years, Munster were to record a number of near misses and last minute defeats against South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. The first tangible result against a touring side was to come in 1958 when the Wallabies were held to a 3 Euro 3 draw in Tommond Park. Munster became the first Irish provincial side to defeat a major touring team when they defeated Australia 11 Euro 8 in Musgrave Park, Cork on January 25, 1967. Munster were captained that day by Tom Kiernan. Against the All Blacks Munster first played the All Blacks in 1905, losing 33 Euro 0 on the occasion. They have played each other many times since then. Munster drew with New Zealand 3 Euro 3 in 1973 and, in 1978, became the only Irish side to have beaten the All Blacks. The 12 Euro 0 victory occurred on Tuesday 31 October 1978 at Tommond Park, in front of a crowd of 12,000, though many times that number still claimed to have been present, such was the occasion. Christy Cantillon scored a try with Tony Ward converting. Ward also added a drop goal in each half. The game remains the only time an All Blacks team lost to any Irish side, and now forms part of Munster rugby mythology. A stage play named Alone It Stands, and a book entitled Stand Up and Fight, when Munster beat the All Blacks by Alan English were both based on the event. Both have been commercially successful. Alone It Stands has had several sellout runs in Ireland and abroad. Stand Up and Fight was a bestseller in 2005. 
the All Blacks returned to Tom and Park in November 2008 to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the 1978 match, and to celebrate the opening of the new stadium. After 76 minutes of the match, Munster were winning 16 a Euro 13, but a late try from Joe Rocococo meant the All Blacks won 18 a Euro 16. Against Australia, like the All Blacks, Munster have played Australia many times. They first met in 1947, where Australia won 6 a Euro 5. Munster claimed their first victory over the Wallabies in 1967, when they won 11 a Euro 8. In 1992, Australia, reigning world champions, having won the 1991 Rugby World Cup, visited Munster as part of a European tour. Munster won 22 a Euro 19 in a rough encounter in Cork. Ten years later, London newspaper The Daily Telegraph recounted part of the legend in a feature on Munster prop Peter Kalahesi, the then Wallabies coach, Bob Dwyer, who was not a man who readily accepted that opposition sides could legitimately score more points than his team, immediately branded the Munster number no. 3 a disgrace. It had been a typically rugged, robust and memorable Munster triumph, with leather and fists flying on both sides. Kalahesi, who wouldn't generally be known for misconduct, was no more guilty than the next man but world champions are not supposed to lose against a hastily assembled Irish provincial 15. There had to be a reason, an excuse, and Dwyer rounded on Kalahesi. History repeated itself in 2010 when Munster defeated the Wallabies 15 a Euro 6, with their Australian fly half, Paul Warwick, kicking all 15 points. The match was played in ferocious weather, with Munster playing into a gale force wind and driving rain in the first half. Indeed, the conditions made the half time score of 6 a Euro 6 all the more significant, as Australia could neither cope with the weather nor the Munster pressure in the second half. Equals professional era equals, on August 26, 1995, the International Rugby Board declared rugby union an open game, removing all restrictions on payments or benefits to those connected with the game. This was done due to a committee conclusion having an open game was the only way to end the hypocrisy of schematerism, and keep control of the sport. The threat to amateur rugby union mostly prevalent in the Southern Hemisphere, particularly in Australia where Super League was threatening to entice players to rugby league with large salaries. In Ireland, the four provincial teams were the only teams to go professional, while their smaller constituent clubs remained amateur. The 1995 Euro 96 season saw the first ever Heineken Cup, a new tournament set up for European clubs. The Irish were allocated three places in the competition, with these places going to Leinster, Munster and Ulster. The team failed to advance beyond the pool stages however. Munster finally reached the Heineken Cup quarter-finals in 1998 Euro 99 Heineken Cup after three years of not being able to get out of the group stages. Equals European success equals, Munster's first appearance in the Heineken Cup's final was in the 1999 Euro 2000 Heineken Cup, where they lost by one point to Northampton at Twickenham. Nevertheless, the season was most memorable with a 25 Euro 31 win over to lose in Bordeaux. Their good form and bad luck continued in the following season, 2000 Euro 01, with a semi-final defeat to Stade for an a Section A's, again by one point, where a try from John O'Neill, three, was disallowed by the referee, as he deemed the ball to be out over the dead ball line. In the 2001 Euro 02 Heineken Cup, Munster lost the last match of their pool at Casters, but qualified as best runners-up. Munster beat Stade for an a Section A's 16 a Euro 14 in Paris, the only try of the game coming from Anthony Horgan. It was then on to bar copyright Zayas to meet Casters again for the semi-final. Munster were triumphant and went to the final at Millennium Stadium to meet the reigning champions, Leicester. Munster lost a tight game remembered as the hand-of-back final, as the Leicester flanker used his hand illegally in a scrum when Munster had a last-chance attack. Munster also reached the final of the Celtic League in this season, but lost 24-20 to Leinster at Lansdowne Road, Dublin. In 2002 Euro 03, Munster reached the quarter-finals after a win against Gloucester, later issued on VHS under the title The Miracle Match. In this game, 
Munster needed to win by a margin of at least 27 points and score a minimum of four tries to earn a quarter-final berth. They won 33 a Euro 6 with four tries in a game that has become part of Munster rugby folklore. They again faced Leicester, this time at the Tigers' home of Welford Road, and defeated the reigning champions to progress to the semi-finals. They faced a lose in the semi-finals and lost out on a place in the final, after losing by a single point in France. In this season, Munster won the Celtic League for the first time, by beating Neath Swansea Ospreys 37 a Euro 17 at the Millennium Stadium, Cardiff. In 2003 a Euro 04 it was more of the same. After an assured performance in the pool stage, Munster defeated Stade for an A-section A's at Tom and Park to set up a semi-final date with English champions, London Wasps. This match has gone down as one of the best Heineken Cup matches of all time. Although leading by 10 points in the second half, and having lost Ronan Ora to injury early on, they succumbed to two Wasps tries in injury time, resulting in a Wasps v to lose final. Munster finished in a disappointing seventh position in the 2003 Euro 04 season of the Celtic League. In 2004 Euro 05, after a shaky performance in the pool stage, Munster qualified as fifth seeds and played Biarritz away. The match was played at Real Sociedad's ground, the Anoeta Stadium, in San Sebastián, Spain a Euro the first Heineken Cup game ever played in Spain. Biarritz won 19 a Euro 10 to Avenger 38 a Euro 29 defeat at the same stage in 2001. Munster finished second in the 2004-05 Celtic League season. In 2005 a Euro 06, Munster qualified to the final of the Heineken Cup, having overcome rivals Leinster 30 a Euro 6 in the semi-final at Lansdowne Road. The final was held at the Millennium Stadium against Biarritz. Munster won 23 a Euro 19 to become European champions for the first time. Munster finished one place lower than the previous season in the Celtic League, finishing third overall. The 2006 a Euro 07 Heineken Cup was a disappointing tournament for Munster, as they lost their previously unbeaten European record at Tom and Park, losing to Leicester Tigers in the group stages. They later lost their quarter-final to Lanethley Scarlets. Munster's performance in the Celtic League was equally disappointing, finishing sixth overall. In 2008, Munster signed Doug Howlett, the all-time leading try scorer for New Zealand. That season's Heineken Cup saw Munster finish top in their group, and they went on to reach the final for the second time in three years beating Saracens in the semi-final. The final, again held at the Millennium Stadium, saw Munster defeat to lose 16 a Euro 13 to claim their second Heineken Cup title in three years. Munster finished third in the Celtic League in the 2007 a Euro 08 season. Equals 2008 a Euro present equals, in the 2008 a Euro 09 Heineken Cup, Munster once again topped their group and reached the semi-final, but lost to arch-rivals Leinster 25 a Euro 6 a match attended by a world record crowd of over 82,200. On April 30, 2009, Munster clinched the Celtic League for the second time in their history, after their closest challenges Ospreys beat Newport Gwent Dragons but failed to claim a bonus point. This handed the title to Munster who could not be overtaken at the top of the table. The 2009 Euro 10 season saw Munster finish top of their Heineken Cup pool once again. Victories over Northampton Saints, French top 14 champions USA Perpignan and Italian side Benetton Rugby Treadviso saw Munster qualify for the Heineken Cup quarter-finals for a record 12th consecutive year. The match took place at Tom and Park, where Munster played Northampton Saints for the third time that season and won 33-19. They lost 18 a Euro 7 in the semi-finals against Biarritz at the Anoeta. Munster came fourth in the Celtic League, but because this season saw the introduction of a playoff system for the top four teams, Munster met and lost 16 a Euro 6 to Leinster in the playoff semi-final. The 2010 a Euro 11 season saw Munster drawn in Pool 3 of the Heineken Cup alongside Ospreys, London Irish and RC Toulon. Munster lost 23 a Euro 17 away to London Irish before defeating RC Toulon 45 a Euro 18 at Tom and Park. 
Munster defeated Ospreys 22 a Euro 16, but lost the reverse fixture at Liberty Stadium 19 a Euro 15. In round 5 Munster went to Toulon, losing 32 a Euro 16. As a result, Munster failed to qualify for the quarter-finals of the Heineken Cup for the first time in 13 years. Munster won their final pool game, at home to London Irish, 28 to Euro 14, and qualified for the Amlin Challenge Cup quarter-finals. Munster defeated Leinster 24 a Euro 23 on April 2, 2011 in the Celtic League, ending a run of five straight defeats. Munster beat Brive 37 a Euro 42 in their Amlin Challenge Cup quarter-final to qualify for the semi-final against Harlequins on April 30. Munster lost the semi-final in Tomond Park 20 a Euro 12. Munster finished first in the 2010 a Euro 11 Celtic League. They beat Ospreys 18 a Euro 11 in their semi-final to set up a grand final with Leinster, which Munster won 19 a Euro 9, securing a third Celtic League title. Munster were drawn in Pool 1 for the 2011 a Euro 12 Heineken Cup, alongside Northampton Saints, Scarlets and Casters Olympique. They beat Northampton 23 a Euro 21 in the first pool game at Tom and Park, after an 83rd minute drop goal from Ronan Ura. In their second pool game, Munster beat Casters 24 a Euro 27, with Ura again scoring an overtime drop goal to secure victory. Munster won their third pool game, away to Scarlets, 14 a Euro 17. In the return fixture a week later, Munster won 19 a Euro 13. A 26 a Euro 10 win over Casters on January 14, 2012 ensured that Munster qualified for the quarter-finals of the 2011 a Euro 12 Heineken Cup. Munster ended their 2011 a Euro 12 Heineken Cup Pool 1 games with a 36 a Euro 51 victory against Northampton Saints, securing the top seed in the quarter-finals and winning six out of six pool matches for the first time. Munster lost their quarter-final against Ulster 16 a Euro 22, losing just their second match at home in the Heineken Cup. Munster finished third in the 2011 a Euro 12 Pro 12 and played Ospreys away in the playoff semi-finals, losing 45 a Euro 10. Munster were again drawn in Pool 1 for the 2012 a Euro 13 Heineken Cup, with Saracens FC, Edinburgh Rugby and Racing Mar Copyright Tro 92. The campaign opened with a 22 a Euro 17 away defeat at the hands of Racing Mar Copyright Tro 92. Munster won their second game, at home to Edinburgh, 33 a Euro 0. The December back-to-back -back games began with a home fixture against Saracens, which Munster won 15 a Euro 9. In the reverse fixture, Munster lost 19 a Euro 13. In the fifth round of pool fixtures, Munster beat Edinburgh 17 to 26. Munster had to win their final pool game, against Racing Mar Copyright Tro, with a try bonus point to have a chance of qualifying for the quarter-finals. Munster won the game 29-6, scoring five tries, including a hat-trick from Simon Zebo. Leicester Tigers' 9-5 victory over Toulouse ensured that Munster qualified as the second-best runner-up, and they played Harlequins in the quarter-finals. Munster won the quarter-final 12-18, advancing to the semi-final, which they lost 16-10 to Clermont Auvergne on April 27, 2013. Munster finished 6th in the 2012 a Euro 13 Pro 12. Munster were drawn in Pool 6 for the 2013 a Euro 14 Heineken Cup, alongside USA Perpignan, Edinburgh Rugby and Gloucester Rugby. Edinburgh beat Munster 29-23 in the opening pool fixture on October 12, 2013. In their second pool game on October 19, 2013, Munster beat Gloucester 26-10. Munster beat Perpignan 36-8 in round 3. In the round 4 reverse fixture on December 14, 2013, Munster won 17-18 at Perpignan. Munster beat Gloucester 7-20 at Kingsham on January 11, 2014, a win that secured quarter-final qualification. Munster beat Edinburgh 38-6 on January 19, 2014 in round 6, a bonus point win that secured a home quarter-final. In their quarter-final, Munster beat Toulouse 47-23.
Munster lost 24-16 to Toulon in the semi-final on April 27, 2014. Munster finished third in the 2013 a Euro 14 Pro 12, but lost 16 a Euro 15 to Glasgow in the semi a Euro final. Munster were drawn in Pool 1 of the 2014 a Euro 15 European Rugby Champions Cup, alongside Saracens FC, ASM Kalamontoven and Sail Sharks. A late drop goal from Ian Ketley gave Munster a 26-27 away win against Sail Sharks in Round 1 on October 18, 2014. Munster beat Saracens FC. 14-3 in Round 2 on October 24, 2014. ASM Kalamontoven beat Munster 9-16 at Tom and Park in Round 3 on December 6, 2014, becoming the first French team to beat Munster at their home stadium. In the reverse fixture on December 14, 2014, Clermont beat Munster 26-19. Saracens beat Munster 33-10 on January 17, 2015 in Round 5, a defeat which meant Munster failed to qualify for the knockout stages for only the second time in 17 seasons. In Round 6, Munster beat Sale Sharks 65-10, a win that was their 100th in Europe. Munster finished second on the 2014-15 Pro 12. In the playoff semi-final, Munster beat Ospreys 21-18. Munster were beaten 13-31 by Glasgow Warriors in the 2015 Pro 12 Grand Final on May 30, 2015. Munster were drawn in Pool 4 of the 2015 Euro 16 European Rugby Champions Cup, alongside Stade for their Section A's, Leicester Tigers and Treviso. On November 14, 2015, Munster beat Treadviso 32-7 in their opening pool game. Current standings. Equals Pro 12 equals. Equals European Rugby Champions Cup equals. Equals Pool 4 equals. Results against touring international teams. Colours and crest. The three crowns flag of Munster alludes to the three constituent historic kingdoms of Munster. Tom and in the north. Desmond in the south, and Ormond in the east. A revamped logo was introduced for the 2003 Euro 04 season which included the addition of a stag with the three crowns. The crest was designed to maintain the three crowns, and the new red stag symbolizes strength and competitiveness. The decision for change was a product of two years of planning of research and design. Elements of navy were also introduced into mainly red Munster jersey. The current kit consists of a red shirt with navy blue trimming, white shorts and red socks. The kit is made by Adidas, who replaced Canterbury of New Zealand, in a deal covering kit supply for three seasons. The name of Munster's title sponsors, appears on their shirt. It was announced on May 21, 2013 that Bank of Ireland would be replacing Toyota as Munster's sponsor. The counties of Munster are listed in white on the collar of the New Jersey. Home grounds. Munster have two main stadia where they play their home matches a Euro Tom and Park in Limerick and Irish Independent Park in Cork. Tom and Park is the bigger of the two, with a capacity of around 25,600, while Irish Independent Park holds 9,251. As well as Munster, Shannon RFC and UL Bohemian RFC play at the grounds of Tom and Park. Tom and Park is famous for its atmosphere and unique history a Euro its noise during play and complete silence when a player is kicking at goal. It is also famous for Munster's intimidating record that it held for over a decade a Euro having never been beaten at home during the Heineken Cup. However the record was broken during the 2006 a Euro 07 season when they were defeated by the Leicester Tigers. Munster train in the University of Limerick. Tom and Park went through a major renovation in 1999, and in 2006, Munster announced plans to upgrade it. In autumn 2008 the new 27,000 capacity stadium was opened. Two sweeping arches are one of the defining features of the stadium as well as the concourse outside of the new East Stand. The new stadium design was well received and won the Public Choice Award for 2009 from the Irish Architecture Foundation. A long discussion and consultation on the new name concluded with the decision that the name would remain Tom and Park. Supporters 
The strength of Munster's support was demonstrated during Munster's 2006 and 2008 Heineken Cup final wins. News reports detailed the lengths that fans were willing to go to secure tickets to the game, with some Munster fans travelling to Biarritz to buy up the French allocation of tickets. On the day of the game the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff was filled with a capacity crowd of 74,500. Of those numbers it is estimated that somewhere between 55,000 and 65,000 were Munster fans with the remainder being neutrals and Biarritz supporters. The Millennium Stadium was intended to be a neutral venue but commentators on the day remarked that it could hardly be counted as such. In North America there is an official supporters club called Munster Rugby USA. Munster played in the most attended semi-final match of the Heineken Cup 82,208 spectators attended their 2008 Euro 09 Heineken Cup semi-final against Irish rivals Leinster, which was played in Croke Park, Dublin. This was also, at the time, the largest crowd ever at a club rugby union match. The record was broken in a league game between English side Saracens and Harlequins in 2012. Munster's appearance in the 2002 final of the Heineken Cup against Leicester Tigers at the Millennium Stadium, which drew 74,600, was the record attendance for a final in the competition until the 2007 Heineken Cup final between Leicester and London Wasps at the newly expanded Twickenham, although it is estimated that as many as 10,000 Munster fans attended this game, having bought tickets before Munster were knocked out of the competition. Munster's 2005 quarter-final against Biarritz Olympique in Estadio Anoeta, played as it was across the border in San Sebastián, with an attendance of 32,000 also set the record for the biggest rugby match ever played in Spain. Their October 2006 Celtic League game against Leinster at Lansdowne Road beat the record for that competition with an attendance of 27,252. This record lasted just two months however with the Leinster and Ulster match on December 31, 2006 filling Lansdowne Road for the last match at the stadium before redevelopment. On October 2, 2010, Munster played Leinster in the Round 5 of the Celtic League at the Aviva Stadium, this set a new crowd attendance record for a Celtic League game at 50,645. Munster fans are known for their silence when a kick is being taken, but also for their noise. Fans repeatedly chant Munster, or sing the Fields of Aidenry, and stand up and fight they famously sang the Black Velvet Band to the Ospreys Irish winger Tommy Bowe during their 2009 Heineken Cup quarter-final encounter. Tommy Bowe sang this song at the official reception for the 2009 Grand Slam winning Ireland rugby team. Munster rugby is unusual in the aspect that it has given two words to the rugby lexicon. Famously, the Limerick club of Gary Owen introduced the Gary Owen kick, a high up and under which puts defending players under pressure. Also, the term Malocca, used to describe an unrefined Ford, has its origins amongst the dockers who worked on a casual basis for the Limerick docking firm, Mollock & Sons. Munster A, Munster A is the team that represents Munster in the British and Irish Cup and in the All-Ireland Inter-Provincial Championship. Pre-professionalism and a formal Celtic League structure, the main Munster team competed in the AIPC. Since the advent of professionalism the provinces have fielded lesser teams in order to concentrate on the Celtic League. The team is composed of senior Munster squad players requiring GAM time, academy players and AIL players called up from their club. Having been beaten finalists in the 2009 Euro 10 British and Irish Cup, Losing 23 Euro 14 to Cornish Pirates, Munster A secured success in the British and Irish Cup on April 27, 2012, beating Cross Keys 31 Euro 12 in the final of the 2011 Euro 12 tournament at Irish Independent Park. Honours, Munster, Heineken Cup, winners, 2005 Euro 06, 2007 Euro 08, 2, runners up, 1999 Euro 2000, 2001 a Euro 02, 2. Celtic League Magnus League Pro 12, winners 2002 a Euro 03, 2008 a Euro 09, 2010 a Euro 11, 3, runners up, 2001 a Euro 02, 2004 a Euro 05, 2014 a Euro 15, 3. Celtic Cup, winners 2004 a Euro 05, 
1. Irish Inter-Provincial Championship, Winners 22. Satanta Challenge Cup, Winners 2007, 2008, 2. Munster A, British and Irish Cup, Winners, 2011 A Euro 12, 1, Runners Up, 2009 A Euro 10, 1. Season Records. Equals Celtic League Pro 12 equals. Equals Heineken Cup equals. Senior Squad. Equals Coaching and Management Staff equals. Equals Senior Playing Squad 2015 A Euro 16 equals. Note. Flags indicate national union as has been defined under WR eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-WR nationality. Internationally capped players in bold. Players qualified to play for Ireland on residency or dual nationality. Irish provinces are currently limited to four non-Irish eligible players and one non-Irish qualified player. Academy squad. Equals coaching and management staff equals. The Munster Academy coaching and management staff for the 2014 Euro 15 season. Equals Academy playing squad 2015 Euro 16 equals, the Munster Academy for the 2015 Euro 16 season. Note, flags indicate national union as has been defined under WR eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-WR nationality. Notable players. Equals British and Irish Lions equals, the following Munster players have also represented the British and Irish Lions. Equals individual records equals, correct as of October 31, 2015, bold indicates highest overall record. All time, most appearances, Doncello Callaghan, most points, Ronan Ora, most tries, Anthony Horgan, Heineken Cup, most appearances, Ronan Ora, most points, Ronan Ora. Most tries, Anthony Foley, Celtic League, most appearances, Doncello Callaghan, most points, Ronan Ora, most tries, Simon Zebo. Equals ERC 15 European Player Award equals, an award to recognize the best European player in the Heineken Cup from 1995 a Euro 2010. Ronan Ora. Equals ERC European Dream Team equals, the following Munster players were selected in the ERC European Dream Team, an Ala Euro Time Dream Team of Heineken Cup players. Ronan Ora, 1997 Euro 2013, David Wallace, 1997 Euro 2012, Anthony Foley, 1995 Euro 2008. Equals the 200 club equals, players who have reached the 200 caps mark for Munster. Equals Pro 12 Team of the Year equals. See also, Category, Munster Rugby Players, History of Rugby Union Matches Between Leinster and Munster. References Further reading, English, A. Stand Up and Fight, When Munster Beats the All Blacks, Random House, London, English, A. Munster, A Road to Glory, Penguin Ireland, Dublin, Murphy, E. Munster Rugby, The Secret of Their Success, Maverick House Publishers, Dublin, Cronin, C. Beyond Our Wildest Dreams, Munster's Heineken Cup Odyssey, To All the Mum and Books, Irish Examiner, Munster, Champions of Europe, Gill and Macmillan Limited, Dublin, Coughlin, B. Rags to Riches, The Story of Munster Rugby, The Collins Press, Cork. External links, Official Site, Munster Supporter Site, The Irish Times A Euro Munster Rugby Site, a crugby.com a Euro Munster site.